Welcome back, beautiful people. Frank up here, your beautiful boy. And this is part two of our The Best Sunscreens for 2021. So these are the products that we wish to feature on this channel. If you haven't seen, by the way, part one, I have here the link down below. So please go and check it out. Back to the business. So we have already mentioned a lot of times the importance of wearing sunscreen regardless of your gender or sexual orientation. If you are the type who really takes good care of your skin, you are using skincare products, you are very conscious of how you look and you want to make your skin younger, then sunscreen is just really perfect for you. Sunscreens can be used as early as teenage years because the bad effects of sunlight or UV radiation is all around us and that is something that's inevitable. So on our last vlog, we talked about Cetaphil SPF 50 sunscreen and today we are going to talk about another brand that I have been using for years. So this is a sunscreen that I think I started using since 2017, mid-2017. So we have been best friends for almost three years now, indeed. And I'm talking about this very popular Blue Glossy Tube. This product is from Japan, and this is Biore UV Watery Essence SPF 50 Plus PA Plus here. So I'm sure many of you are familiar with this, and this is a brand that you can find anywhere in drugstores, pharmacies, let's say, or department stores. You can also find this online. Now, as we talk about this product, I want to give you already a heads up as early as now that this is very effective. This delivers the result. I've never had any trouble with this brand. It gives me full protection and never had any allergies. So talking about allergies or the safety of this, let us go and talk about the ingredients. I have here my iPhone and just to show you that I did my research. Let's not really go through all the ingredients. Sunscreens are expected to have extensive or lengthy ingredients list because their job is way different compared to other skincare brands that we're using. Theirs is to protect the skin from radiation, which is all around us, correct? And in this time and age where, you know, the, the, the filtration system of the earth is no longer that effective, right the sun rays the sun radiation or uv radiation is way stronger so our sunscreens need to be way stronger to be able to do their job so i have here the list of ingredients that biore has so i just have to skim through it guys so of course this has water which is the best part of it that's why it says watery essence okay this is very lightweight and good for the skin there is small percentage of alcohol that's for antimicrobial antibacterial of course it also controls the viscosity of the product there is of course you have here the sunscreen factors or the sunscreen ingredients i can see that there are four of them there is emollient of course there's a little or mild scent but even if this has scent beautiful people it's not that scent Okay? Remember, I never form allergies with this brand, okay? Then there is emulsifying, surfactant, cleansing. There's moisturizer. There is, let's see here. We have other ingredients meant for buffering or keeping and controlling the texture of the product, okay? No red flags so far, guys. This one also has preservatives, which are technically okay and safe okay so my skin is already prepped i am shooting this at daytime obviously and i'm done with cleansing my face in fact i took a shower i applied my daytime serum that's vitamin c serum okay and my eye cream and eye serum also and that's just it now just to be able to prove to you how lightweight this brand is because I'm really raving when it comes to this being watery or lightweight and non-greasy. 
so that I can prove to all of you that it's true. I applied daytime moisturizer. So after my serum, I put on my SK2 RNA moisturizer, okay? And this is the texture of my skin so far. It's really good, all right? It's not greasy at all. I think that the brands that I'm using are fit for my skin type. So let's go and apply this. Now, as you can see, beautiful people, the advantage of this is it's in a tube. All right, so you don't need a spatula or an applicator for this. It's very convenient to use it. You, all you have to do is just to apply a pea amount on your finger and then onto your face. Now this is the texture, okay? The texture, guys, is gel type. As I look at it, it's like cream, but very light cream, but more of gel type, okay? So there, just dot it. You can easily control the amount and never scrimp on your sunscreen, beautiful people. Because without sunscreen, your skincare regimen will be useless. No matter how much you take care of your face, but you're not protecting your skin, everything is useless. And make sure that your hands are clean also. So I'll just have to use it, okay, very gently, apply. Try to scatter it evenly apply in the face now just just to let you know the texture of this is very good it feels cold it's like you're applying cold cream on your face it doesn't feel like a sunscreen most of the sunscreens beautiful people are a little thick again because of the ingredients that's why only few manufacturers are really able to make it to the cut and offer non-greasy sunscreen. This is a step that you just can't miss. Never forget your neck area. Feels good on the skin. Very light, very mild, watery. For somebody like me with oily skin, this really works. So, to you guys who have oily skin, you know the drill always look for the gel type texture. Whether it's your sunscreen or moisturizer always go for that okay all right i'm almost done i just love applying this Okay, I'm all set. There. In my journey of searching for a very good sunscreen like this, I also stumbled upon a few products before that are not really, I wouldn't say safe, but they're not meant for my skin type, for the oily type. They're thick sunscreen, they're using creams or cream-based, and right after application, you just feel heaviness on the face. I mean, because this is the last step of your regimen. So technically, you will have already applied your moisturizer, serums, and all the other ones, right? For ladies, this is what you apply before you put on your makeup. So if it doesn't feel breathable, if it doesn't feel light on the skin, then it can just, you know, add stress to the skin, correct? So it's a very important that we are keeping to a brand that's similar to this one. And of course, this is from Japan. So overall, this is a good product and safe. Okay, five minutes is up and the texture of my skin is still good. By this time, folks, the skin has already started absorbing the product. So I am just very happy always with this one because no matter how hot it is outside, it's okay. This really gets me by.
Now I have a few reminders for you. We always need to reapply our sunscreen, especially if we get sun exposure, if we are going outside of the house. The standard is apply this every two to three hours within the day. So you have to remember that otherwise the protection will not be full. Depending on the brand that you're using, some will require you to reapply after two hours. But for this guys, four hours is already good for coverage. Now this brand offers of course SPF 50. So this gives you 97% protection against UVA and UVB. If you want to learn more about it, please watch the first part of this vlog series. Now let's, now let's go to the price. This one retails for 498 pesos. I check this online and also at your favorite drug stores and department stores. And the price point is standard, 498 pesos, all right? How long does this last you? Oh, for me, since I use this every day, this is good for, let's say, some two months, depending on the amount of your application and, of course, the size of your face. Overall, this should last for one and a half to two months. And our vlog is as quick as that, beautiful people. Thank you very much for always supporting our channel. If you haven't subscribed, please do so and click the bell so that you will not miss any of our weekly vlogs. Share this video with your family and friends. And if you enjoy watching contents like this, please give us a like. And on our next vlog, yes, we still have the part 3 of this vlog series. We are going to talk about another brand that I discovered a few weeks ago, which I think is also very good. It's a popular brand that many of you, I am sure, love it. But we will talk about that next time. So thank you very much for always supporting our channel. You guys stay safe. You guys stay protected always keep living your life. Until the next time.